attracting lots of people and being smart about it, then that's just where you are. Is it foolish not to engage in, in other investments? Because I don't know. Okay. You know good, good question. This is what I've learned from my own experience. I invested in a marble mine. Stone, marble stone. You know how much money I lost in that investment? $100,000. I invested in a company in California in the stock market. I put, oh, I don't know, I bought $100,000 worth of stock in that company. I sold it for $15,000. So I lost $85,000 there. I invested in, in a company with a guy that was one of my roommates in undergraduate school. It's called Gustav Chemical Corporation. And this is a guy I trusted, friend of mine, smart guy, PhD in organic chemistry. You've met him. The peep. I didn't put a whole lot of money into it. I, I, I think it was ten thousand, twelve thousand dollars. You know how much I lost? Twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> Good thing you didn't put more than twelve. Good thing I didn't. Do I know about chemical companies? No. Did I know much about that company in California where I bought hundred thousand dollars worth of stock? Where someone told me it's about to break out. It's a great investment. You can't lose. I knew shit about that. And marble quarries, I knew even less about it. <laughs> Turns out, the guy that I invested with in that marble quarry went to federal prison for seven years. He defrauded about 100, 125 investors for somewhere in the area of, I don't know, $10 million. I didn't know anything about it. This is what I know. I know chiropractic. I know how to care for people. I know how to change and transform people's lives. That's what you invest in. Now if you invest in that, now there are investments that you can make outside of chiropractic, but you need to learn about it, understand it. Did you read Killing Sacred Cows? No. Okay, read it. It'll answer your question. Yeah, because I think that's, like in my head, I'm just thinking, track a lot of people, roll overhead, crush it. Yeah. Whatever I got, save some. Yeah. And live within that. Absolutely. And not go over. So this is what Garrett Gunderson says in relation to living below your means. He doesn't talk about living below your means. He talks about increasing your means. Building your practice. Seeing more people. Serving more. It's all about service. Can I say something here? Yeah. Write this down. For me, I have to earn the right. I have to earn the right to get whatever I want. My first Mercedes I bought, I walked onto the lot, test drove a bunch, did my research, went back, and I wrote a check, all cash for it. No debt. I had to earn the right to purchase that vehicle. You know what I did? On top of my percent or savings, I took another percent over a 12 month period, put it in a separate bank account. I'm big on words, I'm big on vibrational frequency. We have accounts, my wife and I. Well, guess what? One's called Dream House Bank Account, the other one's called New Car Bank Account. And all I gotta go in at the end of the month, money comes in one, I make a few clicks, and then a certain percent goes in every other account. And I see that approved. And at the end of the year, I got $80,000 in my new car account. Guess what? I have earned the right to buy a new car. That's what that means. So it doesn't mean, guys, you can't have nice things. I like nice things. I think everyone likes nice things. But the nice things don't define me. And remember this, think about this. Think about all the hard work that you put into your prerequisites to get into chiropractic college. Think about the washing machine that chiropractic college puts you through. Think about the stress. Think about the BS. Think about the overwhelm. Think about all this, okay? Think about everything you have to do to create your practice. The time, the energy, the money. Think about everything you have to do to get the word out there. 
That's what I want you to think about when you're crushing it. And when someone walks up to you with some scheme or some idea that they might understand, remember how hard you work for that $50,000. And don't be so easy to give that money away from the emotion of greed because someone tells you they can double or triple your money. I want you to think about all the work for that five, eight, 10 years that you put into all of this when someone comes knocking, because they'll come knocking. Bradley, he talked about, he understands chiropractic. I understand chiropractic. That's why I'm now investing in chiropractors. Because I understand chiropractic. And I understand chiropractic after last night apparently better than I actually thought. <laughs> Anybody here hear of BJ Palmer? Yeah. Once or twice. I mean, if you go, if you go to national or Western <laughs> States or I don't know, maybe you haven't heard of them. So, an investment person came to VJ Palmer back in I don't know the 1930s, 1940s, and was asking VJ to invest in his business, whatever I don't even know what it was, and VJ asked him, why should I invest in your business? And he said, because I can make you a lot of money. And BJ's response was, well, I'm making a lot of money. Well, I'm gonna make more money and invest in my business. And he says, you know what, I don't know your business, but I know my business. So I'm gonna take that money that I would've invested in your business, and I'm gonna put it back into my business, and I'm gonna make more money with it. Invest in what you know. <coughs> I wish. Someone would have told me that before I wrote that $100,000 check to John Byers for that marble mine. <laughs> Saved me a lot of sleepless nights. But nobody told me. So I had to learn the hard way. And I'm sharing that with you. I said, I don't want you to go through what I've been through and the mistakes that I've made in my life when it comes to money. And I've made lots of mistakes. And you know what? Even with all the mistakes, I've done pretty really well. Why? Because I've been disciplined. Because I had a plan to save and to get out of debt. And my focus was never on making lots of money. My focus was always on serving lots of people. <laughs>